to Bologna. Sorry, Italians, if that's not how you pronounce it. Uh, we're going down to Ancona to catch the ferry across to mainland Greece. Um, so Claire's come in with a question about her St. Bernard puppy. Is really nervous and anxious when she walks it and barks at everybody. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about drive. So dogs operate in drives, pack drive, prey drive, defense drive. So pack drive is when your dog is just following you, calm, relaxed, ears back, tail low, just following or walking by your side. And then as they see, hear or smell something, they will switch into either prey drive, which is where they want to hunt, chase, play, and in some cases attack, or defense drive, defense fight, where they might start growling or barking at something when they feel challenged, or defense flight, when they want to run away from something. So when you've got a puppy, you need to, what I call bomb proof them. You need to take them everywhere and anywhere. You need to desensitize them to lots of different environments, situations, objects. So for some reason, your pup is feeling challenged by people when you're out walking. And that can sometimes be because people absolutely adore puppies. So people can sometimes put pressure on a dog without realizing it by giving the dog eye contact, coming into the dog's space and going to touch the dog. And if you've got a dog that's not very confident, that is quite a challenge for them. So it will push them into defense fight or defense flight. So what you have to do is make sure people don't look at him, talk to him or touch him. And as he goes into defense fight and starts to bark, you need to just flick the lead and say enough or no or leave it and give eye contact so that you clearly see the switch from him being in defense fight drive and submitting and coming back into pack drive. And then once he's quieted and back in pack drive, then you can ask the person just to stand there and take your dog up to sniff them. Now he might put the brakes on because he's a bit unsure. So then you can try using food if he's food driven. But here's the thing, sometimes if dogs are so frightened, they're not interested in food. They won't take any food. So sometimes you can place food around the person's feet. Sometimes you can have the person hold a bit of food in their hand and the dog gets drawn into them from scent. Uh, but if he's so frightened, then just work him around that person. Just take him up and down past that person to the point where he clearly starts to relax and starts to sniff them. And then that's what you want to do with everything. So anything he barks at, you want to teach him that um, he doesn't need to be frightened. So you need to correct the behavior first, but then he needs direction. You need to give him direction as to what you do want him to do. So take into consideration the pressure of how close he is to something, but also how long you're leaving him in that situation for. So quite often I will walk a dog past something, correct them if they start barking, and then take them up and down past that object or that person or that environment until I see that they start to relax about it. And then you give the praise when they're relaxed. You don't give praise when they're barking. You don't talk to them and say, it's okay, don't worry, it's all right, and start giving them affection. <coughs> because actually what you're doing is you're then rewarding that defense fight mindset. So give that a go, Claire. And, um, Hopefully uh, things will go well for you.